guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Foma. ah oh mom it's been a long time some of you thought i've given up yeah it looked like i gave up in fact i was giving up already but last year was i think of last year was so busy for me i most of us get busy at the end of the year because it's dry season and people are throwing parties lots of weddings and fortunately people gave me lots of wedding clothes too. so then also burials they put it at the end of the year then people that had birthdays too around that period of time because it's dry season they celebrate towards that time so and also i was preparing for my wedding so congratulations to me you can tell me congratulations there was enough to drink and eat but i didn't invite this family because you know that's to be money yeah it involves money and yeah looking at our pockets of tea and upcoming millionaire so I couldn't invite everybody but you can as you're watching me now you can get your zobo and your jollof rice and be eating celebrate on my behalf all right last month too that was january i was supposed to start but i changed the environment my seat is not here trying to carve out space where i can do my youtube videos but regardless i'm here now because i just thought to myself let me start it is easy to give up actually people that create content and do it consistently they are really trying so i want to do a shout out to all the content creators you guys are the real mvps for being consistent for giving content back to back to the ones that are funny to the ones that are not funny to the relevant ones to the irrelevant ones you guys are trying but i'm not saying you should be creating relevant content i'm not saying you should not work hard to make it better but even the little ones you're doing i see it and you guys are the real mvps because my way i almost give up i want to say welcome back i welcome myself and i welcome you guys to for my channel okay today's video should be helpful might be helpful to those that are planning their wedding especially if you're a nigerian or from african home number one african wedding or nigerian wedding is not for the couple it is for the parents of the couple like for the bride's parents and the groom's parents it just has to go their way personally i like small wedding i wanted a small but classy wedding i love top-notch things you know but when it involved my parents and my husband's parents the way uh, because i've done for these particular people they have to do for me they scattered everything one of that was one of my first off like nothing small and classy about my wedding so you people that were able to do that ah thank god for your parents so probably your parents are not that social type and they're not opinionated they don't impose their things on you in fact they will make you feel guilty for not doing it their way self. so just have to do it my mom's my husband's parents is a uh, church that she has done for i work people my dad is village 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 so i ended up having two big weddings it's not big big but when you start having 400 guests is that not big 300 400 is big for me i wanted something like 50 to 80 persons but see me here secondly don't depend on people's resources if you if you know say your body no fit carry on or more body you know you don't have the money to do it well then don't do it if you know see all those are pairs that are ginger too if they want a big party and they cannot support that big party then they should they should just want them they are your parents you can want them it's not the one they eh, this person is coming this person is coming oh yeah bring money nobody is bringing money the money is coming from your husband or yourself then leave it because at the end of the day you will end up in debt i know some of us have heard this thing over and over again but some persons will still run into debt girls you want to impress your your your, your friends you want them to know that ah your wedding is they're not they carry first to they don't carry first in wedding so if you like impress when people are finished eating and drinking you see your husband that will remain in that marriage there's somebody that did wedding recently i heard he's still owing the whole the whole people half of their this thing there's all of 150 all of 200 they went to take all of 600 they are now owing totally i don't know which number i am if you can afford event planner for event planner they take a lot of stress off your shoulder they take a lot of bodies you are not the one running up and down my wedding the people that slept in the hotel 
did not eat food because I don't know the person we put in chat. I was shouting it food for other people, even me that is the bride did not eat. I got to the reception, it was terrible. I felt so. In fact, if you watch my video, I, 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 I felt so terrible. I didn't come down from the car till I got food. Later, I heard the food is let me just leave the story. So, if you can afford event planner. Event. It's the event planner you'll be shouting on. Event planner will know how to shout on the vendors. But you that you are doing the party, you are not shouting on people. So yes, if you can afford event planner, go for event planner. Bodies will be lifted. But if you cannot afford the event planner, outsource so many things. Especially things you know that you can do and it's your wedding. Like catering, tailoring, and things that involve the wedding. I know you can do decoration. My sister, if you can afford to outsource it, outsource. If you have friends that can do it for you as a very many married or even free, some friends support with what they know how to do. Please give it to us. If not, you go break down. Uh, I did not stress myself too much. But even as I did not stress myself, wedding dress that I made still became a little bit smooth. I didn't bother. That's when I will go to the next one. Don't stress yourself over what cannot be changed. Imagine me saying that my dress was loose on my wedding day. What would I do? I want to start frowning. I went like that. I realized that one side was getting loosened. I know some persons would have noticed it. My sister, I went like that. When we got to the wedding, when we got to church, they said I had a stain behind my dress. It was looking like a curious stain. What do you want me to do? Will I go and change? I left it and kept smiling. Because I already promised myself that, oh my, that smile gets me today. Until when I was very hungry, and when I'm hungry, I feel like throwing up. It was only the food that was almost spoiling my day. And even after I got the food, I still went in and laughed. I told my train that they should not cluster. I easily get choked. They were getting clustered. My sister, I did not dance I just dragged my husband to the front. As soon as I know they hear what. I said, don't do it. They still did it. People will be stubborn on your day. My sister, laugh, smile. I was very tired. I was the, the hunger has held me so much that I was already feeling after eating. I was not feeling myself. I danced though. When I got to the front, I danced. I told MC I don't want that uh, introduction of cake and um, kneeling down to feed husband. He still brought it. It was he kept shouting, Oh yeah, need that for I said I am not needing that. It was not looking like I was stopping. As I refused answering with him, I still did the one I wanted to. People will be stubborn. My sister, smile. You will be up there saying that your fellow people that you invited are not eating. The people controlling the food are not sharing food where they are supposed to share the food. My sister, smile. Because at the end of the day, all these problems will be solved. And when you are watching your video, if you did not smile, you will see that you have ruined your video. Memories will not be anyhow. Because the videos you are supposed to post. If you are, you are someone that posts like me, or the videos that are supposed to keep you, give you memories. You are frowning all through. All the pictures you are frowning. One of my sister that I saw her video, it wasn't a video, it was a picture. Oh, she said she will fast. <laughs> Funny. She said she will fast on her wedding day. She fasted though. And in all her pictures, my sister was frowning. She was frowning. And lastly, please. Don't, don't fast on you. What, what are you? So you all the fast you've been fasting since no do. Now wedding day you won't fast. How do you have strength to dance? Smile. You will smile to a point that see this place will be paining you. So you are telling me that you'll be fasting and you are smiling to snap picture and tell me people are telling you that hey, hey, hey. thank you man. With fast you go faint. Even me that did not fast said I couldn't wait till the end of my reception because I'm more. They dealt with me with that hunger. May that not happen to me again. So I think when people are telling you, and you cannot plan wedding to your taste because of parents. <laughs> not true. Now they are telling you that it's anniversary you can plan with. People are saying not true because it looks like it's anniversary that I can plan in a very small way, like the way I wanted it. Because the look of my wedding was not the way I wanted it. But at least I. I dressed the way I wanted. Guys, it's thing. I just want to say thank you to those that came. Thank you to those that wished me well. Thanks for the gift. You can still send me gifts too. I'm just one month or two. Ah, 
when you when you take gift bet, she be used to send gifts to one, but even to one year, so you can send me gifts. I'm willing to collect the gifts. Thanks for watching to the end. Until next time. Bye bye.